Welcome back, everybody, to FTB Departed. I am TJ the Obscure here with you, and as you can see, we're still here. Although I killed something that seemed... I was going up and down before, now I'm just going this direction. And so I'm guessing that there were a couple of things down here pulling me in many different directions. And that since I killed one of them, I'm only experiencing this one pulling me now. I'm going to try to get over here. I can probably escape using this guy, I realized. Uh, ooh, that's not good. Um, not good at all. Is there anything... Oh, no, 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 no. On the other side of this? There we go. Oh, I'm gonna get you, whatever you are. You're trying to kill me. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Actually, I don't know freaking where this thing is. It's still trying to pull me this way. I'm also running low on blocks. Uh, doo -doo -doo. So yeah, um, it is a beautiful Saturday morning. And what we have planned for this episode is hopefully escape from here without dying, first and foremost. Uh, I'm a little worried I'm going to like start to lift up as soon as I go out here or something. Whatever it is, is like right here. Unless there's actually a block here that I didn't actually break. I say actually a lot. In fact, there's a lot of things that I say a lot. Like, I apologize a lot. I or, I say thank you a lot. I don't say sorry. I say sorry a lot, too, although you guys probably have not witness that. Where are you, thing? Like, what the heck, man? I don't think it's these things that's pulling me. Now it's pulling me in this direction. And every which direction, actually. The funny thing is that I'm actually really close, see, actually, to being able to kill these guys, I need hunter level 40, and I think, or 45, and I'm at 40. So sadly, I don't. Maybe it's these guys that are pulling me. Although the wiki didn't say anything about them doing that, and I don't see anything else. Oh, there you are! Ha! Finally, can I move now? I can move. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. All right. Uh, this place is evil. Evil. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Um, um, I forgot these guys are gonna start firing things at me. Alright, uh, gosh, man, I, this place terrifies me. Can I do this? No, is that too far away? Um,. this guy over here. I think that may be one of the... There's like two different versions of those flying things, and one of them is really rare. Uh, that, I think, is the normal one. Got him. Oh, I was going to fly over there, but gosh. Oh, oh, Seeker. Seeker, you came out of nowhere. Alright, I think we can probably fly over there. I think we'll be safe. Let's just go ahead and get our Ender Pearls back on the bar, just in case. And let's hop up here. Whew, okay. Um, yeah. So there's still stuff that I have yet to find here. Um, specifically, there's this thing. It looks a lot like just the regular rock. But it's like a pedestal of it, and that's where I can spawn the boss that I plan on fighting next. And there's a trader that we can find, and I think there's another structure that we can find too. Uh, so still a lot left to explore in this dimension. However, in order to fight the boss, if you recall, I need to go to Percasia and uh, kill some kind of mob that drops the thing that we use to summon it. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and do right now. Hey. Wait. Boop. Um. Oh, there's one of the rare ones, I think. Yeah. 
But I would like to kill him so that he's over the, the ground, if possible. So right now he's not. Nope. And they have a decent amount of health, as you can see. Oh gosh. I could die here. Come on, guy. Come over where, like, I can actually see you and stuff. Whew. This is fun. Where'd he go? You're just gonna hang out over there, huh? Alright, let's see. Cause there's no... Oh, there is land right here. Got him. Lovely. Or I think there's land. Is that all we got with some gems? Oh gosh. And these guys drop stuff too. I guess I'm just kind of disappointed because I haven't gotten too many, too many drops yet. Let's get our ender pearls back. Ah. Uh, oh man. So. Uh, yeah, Saturday morning, I I injured my neck in my sleep last night. That's about the only way I'm going to injure myself, because I am not very physically <laughs> active. I used to be. I used to run, like, every every day, but as you get older and your knees start to fall apart, you just can't do stuff like that anymore. Uh, but, man, I slept on the couch. I'm just, I'm a weird person like that, I guess. I, I sleep on the couch quite frequently, even though I have, like, a huge... Uh, king size bed, but I think it has something to do with when I was younger. I had a futon in my room instead of a instead of a bed, so I'm just kind of used to. Is this another one of the really rare ones? No, that's just normal. One. I'm just kind of used to like couches, I guess. All right. Uh, yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna head to. Uh, back to my base and refill, re-equip, do all that lovely stuff. I thought that might be one of the pedestals, but it's not. Um, and then we're going to head to Percasia. Look at all those guys over there. I think I want to grab those. I don't like being on the edge right here. Actually, I love living on the edge. Let me collect you, Mr. Ambient Pixon. Thank you. Lovely. Uh, where did my portal end up at? Oh, I see it up there. Okay. Hmm. So maybe next time we'll head in the opposite direction that we did this time. Anyways, I'll see you guys back at the base here in a second. Alright, you guys, so it happened again. I fell into the void. Uh, and my best guess is that it seems to have trouble teleporting you back to this portal the very first time. Because it only seems to happen the very first time that you travel back from a dimension. After that, it hasn't happened in the Abyss, or uh, I guess the Haven is only the second place I've been to, but. I need to contact the mod creator to see if that's supposed to happen. Again, I, I don't think it's supposed to happen. But if it's a bug, like you would think, that's a pretty significant bug. It would be taken out. So, I don't know. But if it's part of the mod, it needs to be taken out. Automatic void deaths. And especially if you know it's only going to happen the first time you come back. Like, okay, I'll just take off all my equipment and come back. Like... It makes no sense whatsoever to have it in the mod if it's supposed to be here. Uh, so, yeah. Anyways, I had to load a backup. I lost those those ambient stones that I got, although I did end up getting a power stone. And with that, once again, we can put the, uh, the intervention stuff on our weapons and armor. And I'm actually thinking about putting it on a knapsack, uh, which is something like a backpack, but I'm pretty sure you can lose it when you die. And so I don't want to treat it like these ender pouches, because even if I lose these when I die, I, the ender stuff will still be there, you know? Um, 
Yeah, so that was kind of disappointing. Anyways, uh, we have the minigun, which shoots uh, pellets. Gosh, you see the recoil on that? That's just terrible. Although it does have 18 range damage, so it's stronger than my bow. Although not that much. I mean, with my bow having power 5, it's not. But, um, but yeah, I just haven't really found a gun that I like. And it seems like a lot of stuff in this mod has um, gun immunity, so I don't know why you would ever want to use it. Anyways, uh, let's go ahead and head into... I know this is so bad. So bad. Deep Lens, Haven, Mysterium. We want to go to Percasia. Gosh, look how many realm stones I have for Percasia. Uh, so, there are actually a couple of mobs here that I'll be hunting. They're not hunter mobs, but just mobs that drop things. The portal looks surprisingly new, as it appears. Ooh. Uh, but it seems like a lot of mobs in here drop things that are necessary for summoning, like the the nether boss. Why are there no torches in here? That's not good. Uh, I have to summon using one of these things, as well as the uh, the boss in where we just came from. What's that place called? The Haven. Yes, the Haven. So, I don't really know anything about this dimension besides it's supposed to be kind of prehistoric. I hope we don't spawn in the middle of like the void or anything crazy like that. Uh, this is very similar to where I spawned in the Abyss, actually. In fact, this looks almost identical. I wonder if that's the way it works, like, you just spawn, it's the same terrain generation, but just different blocks and stuff, because this is almost identical. And it's almost identical to the cave in the overworld, too, is it not? Yeah, it is. Like, this is where I insert the thing for the portal. Uh, I don't, I think we're having some loading issues. I don't think that's supposed to look like that. There we go. Alright, uh, so that's interesting. That's how the terrain generation works. This place actually looks kind of inviting. It looks pretty normal. You know, the other places were like colorful and tangle thorns. Do those hurt? No. No, they do not. Uh, but I know that this place can be pretty dangerous, as I'm sure are all of the places. And there's something called an underground den here. I don't know what that is. I see something. What are you? You guys are giant snails. And you do indeed want to attack me, it looks like. What do you do whenever you hit me? Do you have any effects? Doesn't look like it. What about your slime? What does your slime do to me? Yes, that does. That does. It slows me. Oh gosh, there's a tiger over there. And what are you? You're an elephant, huh? Oh, but you are an angry elephant. You are immune to... Megatherium. Okay. Very nice. What do you drop? Ivory. Oh gosh. All the tigers are coming for me. He's, they're, they're dancing tigers. Come with me to see the dancing tigers of Precasia. Hello? Sabertooth. Oh, that one's... Okay, okay. Uh... Those are interesting. Ooh, he dropped a heart. Oh my gosh, they're so fast. Why are you so fast, guy? A lot more of those elephants over there. Let's get away from there. Too many... Too many things have spawned at once. And you, a do dire horn. Okay. Good to know. Uh, I know one of the things that I'm looking for is a rare spawn, and it kind of looks like a uh, not a Tyrannosaurus Rex. It's the complete opposite of the Tyrannosaurus Rex. It's the the good one that has the three horns, the Triceratops. There we go. Oop. Oop. Oh, you know what I need to do is uh, mark my. Ah. So yeah, I slept on that couch wrong, and like literally, I cannot turn my my neck at all. 
whatsoever. What kind of wood is this? Kind of check and see. It's kind of it's like zebra wood, Lucalis wood. I wonder is this is this one of the underground dens? Doesn't look very undergroundy. I'm guessing this is probably where I spawned something, huh? Army block. Uh, that would be my best guess. Some kind of arena to fight something in. Oh gosh, I thought that orange thing was a mob for a second. I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> the biggest mob I've ever seen. Okay. Uh, I haven't seen any Pixons. I'm guessing this does lead to this underground den thing, maybe? Oh, 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 okay, I'm getting out. You scared me enough already, guy. I'm good. I'm good. I'm leaving. Uh, looks like we have a lot of stuff that's close to our portal, though, so that's good. Um, maybe I should have done a little more research on this place before I just hopped in the portal. Okay, uh, that was freaky. Who's laughing at me? Who's, who's the scary guy who lives underground and can light me on fire? I'm also waiting to, to take on like the nether bosses and stuff because of um, I'm like one piece away from getting the infernal armor which gives you fire resist so I figured I'd wait until I have a complete set of that before I take on those guys All right, well I'm gonna look around and see what I can find and I will check back in with you guys once I find something interesting I really want to go back to that temple, but again, I don't really know what it is or what to expect uh, or why I would need to go down there, so I'm just going to hold off on that. And here we can see the deadly tiger from 200 meters away. No, I'm kidding. <clears throat> yeah, no, I'm uh, not going to do the Australian accent. But I don't know what these are. They seem to be immune to a lot of stuff from the looks of it. So I'm going to take out the stuff uh, next to it. Especially that snail. That stuff that it spreads, the snail goo, snail slime, can be pretty deadly, I have a feeling. So let's go ahead and check out what this guy is. I just killed all the tigers. Did you see that guy spawn? Just like... Thank you. Uh, let's not get too close. Oh wait, that's not actual stuff. Tortione? Um, I, I'm not doing any damage to it. Yeah, no, I can't kill these guys. But it's, it's not a hunter mob, though. Uh, I don't have any magic on me. Otherwise I would try that. What about Waggy? Waggy, can you attack him? Go, Waggy! Attack! Attack, Waggy! Uh, nope, Waggy's just gonna follow him around. And... You're very slow, though, guy. Alright, um... What else do I have? Work gun, maybe? Uh... Please, thank you. Blocks. There we go. I can do some fire damage, it looks like. Although I don't know if the actual projectile is doing any damage to him. We shall see. These guys are spawning, like, right next to me. That makes no sense. No sense, I say. I'll be back whenever this guy's dead. <laughs> Go, Waggy! Get him from behind! Good job. Nothing, though. Nothing for that. This one, I saw another one. I guess I could have, like, read the thing. Uh, it's a Caillou Temple. No idea what that is. Caillou. Caillou. Well, 
Well, that's interesting. There appears to be some kind of... I don't know, it's like flying bird animal. And I think there's a spawner for it right there. But there's a lot of stuff around, man. So far I haven't seen either of the... I know one of them is a hunter mob that's underground, so I'm not going to see it, but... The other rare mob that drops the heavy boulder, I think is what it's called, that I used to spawn the uh, the boss in the haven. I have not seen one of them. I don't know. Oh gosh, I am down here. Yes, I am. Hello, people! Alright, uh, die, everything die, thank you. What is this little duck thing? Huh? What are you? Velociraptor? Apotex. Something like that. Alright, ah, oh, man. Strange place, strange place indeed. But not what I'm looking for. Although I may want to mark that, huh? Apotex spawner, I think is how it was. Spelled. Alright, let's keep exploring. Alright, looks like I found some kind of merchant, maybe. That's what it looks like. I don't have many gems, though, do I? I guess I have, I have ten. What can I buy here? You have the Abominator, the Ancient Bow, and that's it. Okay, the Abominator and the Ancient Bow. I'll have to look into those and see if they're any good. Oh, you guys, I think I see one. I think I see one indeed, and it is fast, too. I'm pretty sure... Like, whenever they turn blue like that, they're invincible. <laughs> yeah, I... The mob spawning in this, they need some work. Because they just spawn in these massive groups. It's kind of annoying. Uh, can I maybe draw him away? I don't have to fight all these other things. There we go. Come here, guy. You're faster than everybody else, it looks like. Come here, guy. Can you jump up here? Yes. You're blue again. You're stuck, though. You are stuck. Ha! Lovely. Oh, and he dropped all kinds of stuff, it looks like. There it is. There's the heavy boulder. Woo, okay. Uh, I got some silver coins. Uh, those are kind of cool looking, actually. Uh, so with the heavy boulder, we could now go back to the haven and summon... Gosh, I don't even know the guy's name. Uh, but it looks like it'll be kind of similar to Smash, maybe. So... Uh, and then we also can make armor that allows us to regen underwater, which I think I spoke of before, and we will use that to fight the second overworld uh, boss. And so next episode may just be like me fighting a couple of different bosses, perhaps, uh, but definitely the boss in the Haven. So yeah, this is a... Uh, I don't know, I didn't like this realm as much as the other ones, although we have yet to really explore uh, the temples and stuff. Which I'm really curious about. Maybe we'll we'll do this, uh, not next episode, but the episode after that. It said that they're full of traps, is what the wiki said. Deadly traps that can even kill me. Gosh. So, like, should I be walking on this stuff? Yeah, yeah, I'll, uh, do this in another episode. Alright, everybody, I need to go and, and, like, I don't know, get my neck massaged or something. Like, I'm surprised I didn't cry out in pain during the video. It's very, very painful at the moment. So, anyways, uh, yeah.
That's going to be it for me for today. We have explored Picasia, although there's still much left to explore. Uh, we still haven't checked out the underground dens. All right, look at this. We got rune thing, we got a temple, and we have the this thing which we can use to summon some kind of boss, I'm guessing. And it's all right next to my portal. Isn't that cool? All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time. Yeah.